Hey buddy, have you heard about this thing called inflation? Of course, I have. Inflation is like that annoying friend who always shows up and ruins your budget. It's like a sneaky price ninja. True. I was reading this article about how inflation affects our purchasing power. Apparently, it causes the prices of goods and services to rise over time. Yeah, it's like a never-ending game of price hikes. Last month you bought something for a certain price, and this month, bam. It's inflated, and you have to pay extra. It's a total budget buster. Exactly. Imagine buying a list of household essentials for INR 1000 last month, and this month, one item from that list suddenly costs 1100 Indian rupees. Either you remove something from your cart or kiss your budget goodbye. Oh man, that hurts. Inflation messes with our personal finance and our spending habits. It's like a bully that targets our wallets. Totally. And it's not just about prices going up. Inflation creates instability in consumption, which can lead to serious troubles for the economy. So, basically, if inflation is too high, the economy is in trouble, and if it's too low, that's trouble too. It's like being caught between a rock and a hard place. You got it. But hey, did you know there are these indices they use to measure inflation in India? Oh, you mean the CPI and the WPI? The Consumer Price Index and the Wholesale Price Index, right? Yep, those are the ones. The CPI measures the retail inflation of goods and services, while the WPI focuses on the inflation of goods. It's like they're keeping tabs on every price change in the market. That's a lot of numbers to crunch. But it's good that the government and the Reserve Bank of India are on top of things. They need to keep inflation in check. Absolutely. And speaking of checking, did you hear that the retail inflation rate in India hit an 18-month low of 4.70% in April? Really? That's surprising. I hope it stays low because my wallet needs a break. Don't we all? But you know, it's not just India. Even the US is experiencing cooling off in inflation. The economists are predicting that the Federal Reserve might slow down interest rate increases. Well, that's good news. Maybe we'll catch a break from these price hikes after all. Let's hope so. But you know what they say, the best way to beat inflation is to be financially disciplined and choose the right investment instrument. We gotta make our money work for us. Wise words, my friend. Let's keep our wallets and investments in check and show inflation who's boss. Absolutely. Inflation might try to pinch our purchasing power, but we won't let it win. That's the spirit. Together, we'll conquer the inflation conundrum and protect our hard-earned money. Cheers to that. Now, let's go find some good deals and beat those inflated prices. Inflation, you're like the bad ex who always shows up uninvited, making everything more expensive and leaving us broke. Can't you find a hobby that doesn't involve bankrupting an entire nation? <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>